Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Nico. I'm here together with Fabio from Zurich, Switzerland. Um, one of the projects that we uh, do in our group is um, our named entity recognition pipeline called Ogre. Um, and today, uh, briefly, we want uh, we did a small comparison how Ogre fares um, uh, in comparison to other um, bio named entity recognition pipelines. And I would also like to introduce you how we will use then this tool um, to improve on a dependency annotator, um, which will be the project for the next couple of days. Um, so uh, our uh, named entity recognizer um, has, uh, is run online, um, so you can use it as a website, but also as a web service where you can um, post uh, your data and batch to it. Um, it's a dictionary-based uh, entity recognizer, and we create our dictionaries by aggregating a couple of um, different resources, which is a separate service. We decided to um, evaluate it, uh, comparing it against uh, Tagger1 and Jensen Tagger, um, and also uh, we had a brief look at Metamap, and we evaluated for speed, and we did an informal evaluation of uh, accuracy. And so the, the Tiger One um, can, can be easily installed. Uh, it's very, very friendly. Um, however, uh, it comes, uh, it's uh, already trained on a, on a term list, and that one is, is um, a bit uh, difficult to retrain. So uh, we ran the whole evaluation uh, on the term list that Tiger One is already trained on to be fair. Um, then this is our own uh, tool, and then we have the Jensen Tagger, um, which is written in C, uh, C++, so you have to uh, install it together with some libraries. Um, but, and here we come to the first part of the evaluation, it runs insanely fast. Um, Ogre runs moderately fast, and then um, um, the Tagger one uh, is, is a bit slower. Um, with Ogre, uh, it includes a stemming part um, that's based on uh, NLTK. So you can switch that one off and then it runs uh, comparably fast to, to the Instant Tiger. <laughs> um, which is important if we're dealing with uh, big amounts of data. Um, because then it's already starting to come uh, with Taiwan into a time range where it becomes prohibitively slow. Um, as for the number of annotations uh, produced, um, again, Tiger One um, finds uh, maybe half as many as Ogre, uh, and then unfortunately this didn't manage to, to end up on the slides. Then the Ensign Tiger finds uh, another 10,000 more. Um, we had a brief look at this. So, with the very easy cases, all the Tigers perform similarly well. Um, then also uh, being ba uh, being dictionary based lookups, um, there is uh, some problems. For example, here with the PHA, which is not something that should have been annotated in that case. And um, then you, you have uh, the, the funny mistake where uh, can is annotated as a um, as as an entity. Um, this this can be easily switched off when you add a, um, a stop word list. Um, and then you can get rid of these uh, mistakes in the Jensen Tiger. Um, Ogre also makes a few silly mistakes, uh, where it really annotated the one um, in, in this part as an as a entity. Um, this, is, um, yeah, this is a mistake that we have to deal with. Um, uh, Ogre uh, has a, a tool that performs some post-filtering, um, which is a, a neural network trained post filtering tool that gets rid of uh, these sorts of mistakes with a uh, can and also is the reason why it doesn't annotate uh, cancer and degenerative diseases. Okay, um, what we want to do for BLA is that we um, use either our named entity recognition tool or another entity recognition tool to improve um, dependency parses. So uh, Spacey is a well-known dependency parser. We want to implement this as a web service that will um, provide you with annotations. However, to uh, provide better annotations, 
um, we want to first um, use a named, named entity recognition tool and then give the named entity recognition uh, information to Spacey so they can Spacey uh, so that Spacey can produce nicer uh, dependency parses. Um, exactly. So the service will uh, allow you to upload a pre annotated text and return uh, get uh, improved dependency annotations. Um, obviously, being, being here, uh, the, the format um, of communication will be JSON and um, in, in a way so that it can be easily integrated with uh, pub annotation, for example and uh, made as um, independently as possible so that we can either plug in uh, Jensen or Ogre or um, uh, pub dictionaries for obtaining the entity uh, information. Okay, um, that is uh, our project for the next couple of days. Um, yeah, hit me up if you have any uh, suggestions or questions.